In this video, I am going to tell you about that how to calculate the percentage of any student. So here I have taken five subjects only. You can take more than five also. If you will increase the number of subjects, then you have to increase total number also. So basically, what I did here, I have just import the scanner class with the help of which we can take the input from keyboard. Now. I have created a scan object and written new scanner system.n. So with the help of system.n we can take the input from the keyboard. I have created marks in physics. So with the help of system.out.print it will print marks in physics. Now whatever marks I will give from the keyboard it will get stored in this part. So here I have used float because there, may, there is a probability that marks will come in the floating point number. So basically, I have written float, but you can write integer also. If you will, if you will write integer, then it will not represent the decimal value. Now, similarly, I have created for chemistry. So whatever marks I will give input in chemistry part, it will get stored in this. Similarly for maths, Hindi and English also. Now here what I did, I have used the formula for calculating percentage which is like marks obtained by the student in all the subjects divided by total number of marks into 100. Now if you are using float data type then you need to write F in front of every floating number. If you will not give this, then it will give you an error and it will consider this as a double data type. Okay, now here I have written system.out.print, it will print obtained percentage and then I just use system.out.print for printing the percentage. Now I will run the program. Which is like I will give marks out of 100 only. So suppose I am giving 98 and pressing enter. So what happened? This 98 will get stored in this part. Float physics is equal to scan down next float. Now I am going to give marks in chemistry, which is like 89. Enter. Now again it will get stored in this part. Similarly, I will give marks in all the five subjects. Now, with the help of this statement, program is able to calculate the percentage and with the help of this statement, we are able to see obtain percentage part. So, and with the help of this statement, printing the result of this formula which is like this suppose suppose if you used here in teaser data type then what will happen it will not give you values after decimal it will show you only 83 this is the reason i have used float in every part suppose you use here integer 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 and then float so this is not a good practice if you are using a float then you will use all float and if you are using an integer then you will use all integer in calculating in like in doing any calculation okay 